Hello, Bob Hall here with another Wholesome Farm video. Today we're going to talk about comfrey. These are uh, comfrey plants here growing in the aquaponics system. I planted them, I bought some roots online. I think I got six little roots and uh, planted them and these things have just taken off. And what I need to do is get them into the food forest. Um, comfrey's got a lot of uses and we're going to go over a few. One is we grow them for the animals. The chickens love it, the goats, the horses, they all eat it. And when they do, it's, it's really good for their digestive system, helps with their immunity, and it's just all around real healthy for them. So it's good to feed them some comfrey uh, every other day or so. Also, these things, uh, they're one of the highest nitrogen fixing plants on the planet. So they're really good for the food forest and you just kind of cut them like grass just let the leaves lay and, and they'll go in the absorb into the in, in my case you see the rotting hay and the organic material and they, they nitrogenate the uh, the ground the other thing that they do is they've got a tap root that will grow down to about a hundred feet deep and here in central Texas we're all limestone but these roots will actually find cracks and grow through the limestone, which is really good because when they do, as they, as they grow and, and do that, they bring up all kinds of trace minerals and they help feed the uh, food forest. So the idea is to plant these within, you know, five feet or so of your fruit trees in the food forest. And that's what I got these for and I haven't done it yet, but uh, I plan to do that. But here's another thing we're gonna try doing. I'm gonna cut a few of these leaves off. Most of you, well, I don't know if most of you, but several of you have seen some of my other videos where my friend Phil, um, if you haven't, go go see those. One, we've got, uh, we, we harvest some catfish out of the aquaponics system and he uh, shows you how to, to, to uh, fillet them using a spike and another one is uh, we made a garlic planter and uh, so we could plant punch holes in the ground and plant garlic into the food forest so they're pretty good but what I want to tell you is Phil and I'm going to do it here and hopefully uh, in another month or so I'll be able to show you some of the results but he took some leaves because he plant comfrey also in his aquaponics and he planted them right in his aquaponic bed and just the leaves alone, uh, it took about four weeks, but they started putting out new leaves. They, they grew new plants. So I'm going to try doing that. I've got here in this bed, it's kind of the bed I use for uh, experimental planting. I've got um, blackberry and... and uh, fig trees and uh, from from root uh, from just cuttings growing in here they're growing fine onions so what I'm gonna do is just dig down and bury that leaf I know you can't see it on the camera, but there's all these little fuzzy spikes like hair on these leaves. And uh, I'm assuming that they act very much like the hairs on a tomato plant, because tomato plants, when I show you my aquaponics system, the other one, I got tons of tomato plants growing and fruiting and, and just doing fantastic. And here it is in January but uh, none of them are from seed they're all from cuttings where I cut the sucker off stuck it in the aquaponic system and they just took off so I'm hoping this is the same way which is good it'd be a real cheap way of uh, propagating 
um, comfrey in the food forest. So next we'll go out and we'll show you planting. Well, maybe I'll, I'll show you digging some of these roots up and cutting them and getting them ready to transplant and then we'll go out and transplant them in the, the food forest. Okay, well we're noticing I only planted it once. So this plant, but it's already rooted out and I can see four other plants right here uh, taking off. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can harvest. Ugh. That's not going to work. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. These tap roots get so big, I don't know what they're going to do in the aquaponics system. Let's see if I loosen that up enough. Wow, look at these roots. So when I planted these, I got six little, uh, about half the size of your thumb and about that thick. And look, all these, a lot of them have broken off. So there's gonna be more. I'm, a, I'm probably gonna find out in this aquaponic system, these things are probably just gonna continue to grow and grow and grow because I broke off roots into the ground, into the aquaponic system. And see here, I even got leaves breaking down on the aquaponic system. And I've got worms in here. These, the worms will eat these and this leaf, it'll also add nitrogen to the aquaponic system, but uh, don't really need that because uh, the bacteria and the fish waste is getting broken down. But I'm gonna, See if I can't cut these and break these apart, and then we'll go plant some. Why? Look at that. We're gonna plant some in the uh, food forest. Okay, I've cut these up, and we're gonna go plant them. Um, but I wanted to let uh, let you know one more important thing. There's two types of comfrey. One is very aggressive, and it'll just take over, and it'll spread, and it'll grow everywhere, and just uh, make a eventually make a mess of your food forest or garden or fruit trees even if you don't have a food forest you should plant one of these next to a one of your trees because it'll really help them out but uh, this kind uh, it just grows into a bush it doesn't spread and grow wild but I am seeing I don't know if you can see but this is putting out little so out of that one I got one two and if you look at this root I could probably cut this root and uh, make another one but out of the cuttings I got this root and that is significantly more root than when I bought them online when I bought them online it's probably about that much of a piece of root right there so I'm going to plant that back in you can put it out in the food forest it'll grow also but then here's here's another little start it started and we're going to plant that out in the well I think I'll put that in the aquaponic system and let it grow big again and um, so all right let's go out to the food forest and show you planting right, out there here we are in the food forest here I've got a uh, let's see what this is apricot so I'm gonna plant and over here I've got a, uh, a bush uh, a berry bush so I'm gonna kind of plant in between them and this will help both of them so just dig down in here. <clears throat> Should have brought my knife. You got your knife on you? They got Mo helping me. Most of you have seen Mo in my videos. Okay, so I've got that planted, but I'm also going to harvest bunch of the leaves because I don't want the plant I'm just gonna sit those down here in the food forest 
and let them become part of the, the decaying process. But uh, this way the plant will have the best start. Uh, it won't be putting so much energy into the leaves anymore. It can, uh, it can concentrate on the roots and getting reestablished. I'm going to move over here. Do the same. This is a tomato plant that when it froze it finally got too cold. And we're just letting it decay here in the food forest. Everything becomes food. Everything's used. Stick that root in there real good. There we go, it's new home. So if you don't have comfrey, it really would pay you to get a couple plants. And um, I mentioned a couple other videos. I'll put links in this video to them. And uh, if you like what we're doing here on the farm, We'd appreciate you hitting the like button, leaving us a comment, and uh, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you watching.